have arrived in the first town we're staying in Colorado called Durango and reminder we had to reschedule our whole trip away from Arizona and into Colorado so only had like a night in the morning to book and plan all of Colorado this is our first stop here this is our hotel here a historic straighter hotel and even though Colorado doesn't appear to have a terrible problem right now we're still gonna wear our masks and check in and many other people are so we're being courteous as well it says keep distance wear a mask yeah they recommend mask Limit six guests limit at the lobby. Hello. How are you doing? Doing well. We have a reservation tonight. Welcome to our very cool historic hotel. You're a little muffled there. Yeah, we have to be the masked bandits around here. Bandit, that was the word I was looking for. I was saying that with the hat and the mask, you look like a masked robber or bandit. Well, it's very fitting for the Wild West trip that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a gorgeous Wild West hotel. It's the historic hotel in town. And we're really excited just to be in the hotel, but the whole town looks amazing. Hotel reminds me of the one that we stayed in in St. Pete. Kind of like a yeah. throwbacky. Kind of retro vibe, but very, very cool. I like it. I like this wallpaper. Yeah. And the chandelier. We're going to photograph this place extensively because it really fits our theme. It's begging for a photo shoot, really. Yeah. But yeah, it's a one bedroom, so nice big bed, a desk, a TV, and a bathroom. Journal. What is the, the journal? No. Oh, am I supposed to keep a journal here? Yeah, what's up with that? Room journal. Oh, that's nice. pretty cool. Our search for happy hour in Yelp led us to the <laughs> office. That's neat. I really like that idea. <laughs> it's like reviews, like the old school Yelp, but in like book form. And that's it's cute. private to the room itself. I like that. That's cool. That's so cool. Oh yeah, they've already filled the whole book even. In 2019. Okay, one more. So this one started in 2015. Here they have a historic portrait of someone. Looks a bit like my grandma. My grandma was a beauty when she was young. That's where I got my jeans from. <laughs> that looks nice too. Got a closet. Mm -hmm. And ooh. Yeah. The light is. Hmm. I hate when they do that. Like, uh, <laughs> where's the lights? Day. Here. Ah, there wow, we go. way back there. Cool. Yeah, it's nice. I can yeah, nice. really walk to it. Like uh -huh. in the West, not in Greece where, or Hong Kong. Yeah, nice cute. style. I like finishing it. Yeah. Yep. They already branded their own. So oh, cool. I like it. Yeah, it is. There. Ooh. And we are in beautiful Colorado. Wow. In the south side of the state. Yeah, I like it a lot. Alright, this is how you do a Wild West pandemic road trip in style. Uh, so the mission now is to find a shirt that fits the part so we can do some photo shoots here. Yeah, you need something uh, more fitting here. So, does not look like actual Wild West store. I'm already getting hot from this mask. Yeah. There, see? <laughs> <laughs> Will we find our shirt in Rio Grande Trading Company? Let's find out. Souvenirs, mm -hmm. some shirts, but not buttoned. I don't recall ever seeing a cowboy in a t-shirt. Yeah. Nice Durango designs though. They have stuff for cowgirls, hopefully for cowboys too. Oh, there is a cowboy right here, lying down. This one is a little drunk. No. Jewelry, no cowmen or cowboys. <laughs> So um, one of the main reasons they booked this town is because it's really Wild West themed and part of that is this huge um, Wild West train exhibit right behind there. We'll, we'll check that out in due time. I'm looking for a cowboy shirt. <laughs> there is something, yeah. Is that one of our hats? Uh, no, I actually bought this in REI in Seattle. Really? We have the same exact Really? One? Very funny. Most cowboy -y. Denim, huh? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. So we got some stuff like this, where it's a little bit lighter. Hmm, that might be good. I do like that idea. 
a blue, a red, and kind of this uh, lemonade mm, yellow. I actually like the yellow the most, I think. Mm. Me too, honestly. Yeah. Well, I haven't it's seen a, a yellow shirt that I like in a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the nice kind of pale. Totally. Yeah, I could see myself wearing that beyond the photo shoot, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, you gotta think of that. <laughs> There it is. The blue is also good though. Yeah, about 99. Nice, okay. That's a good option. Got this kind of stuff. It's a little bit darker colors. This, yeah. This is a pretty decent cowboy shirt. Those are good too, yeah. We have some on our sale rack as well. Some... Ah, yeah. Hmm. That could be an option too. All right, it will be this one. Yeah. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. I'm liking that color. Yeah, I'll take you over on this side just because we have the weird little plastic thing. <laughs> Is that a must now? I guess. I guess so, hand it over this way. Who really knows? <laughs> I like your store here, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's a good store. Is it local or is it kind of a chain? Uh, It's still family owned, but mm. we have a couple locations. Nice. Probably around like 20-ish around the country, but we keep it kind of enclosed, you know what I mean? Very cool. There, yeah, cool, we got the shirt sorted out. Very nice store actually. Ooh, our future car, not exactly, but the brand. All right, now I guess priority becomes food. Yep. Ooh, huge ice creams. You may have to oblige eventually. We just ate ice cream for breakfast. Oh yeah, <laughs> never mind. Okay, fair <laughs> point, we did have ice cream and it's now what, 5 p.m. and that's all we've had. Yeah. We won't have another ice cream today. We've been enjoying Durango, Colorado for a few hours already and we're really impressed uh, in all ways. It actually is a very, very pleasant place. Here currently we are on the river which runs right through downtown and it's quite beautiful. And people are rafting or kayaking down the river. Here in Durango they commemorate the settlers of this land, the immigrants who came from places like Italy and Czechoslovakia and a whole bunch of other places in Europe and they turned this place into what it is today, right? And when you think about what kind of people these are, what it takes to leave everything that you know behind and say, I'm gonna go and just get on another continent and try to develop it and make a brand new country there. And it becomes actually the greatest one. And that is really interesting to me because that's really exactly what I did when I came to the USA. And the funny part is that a lot of my reasoning was probably inspired by uh, reading Wild West novels and watching the movies and so on and buying into that romanticized myth of the Wild West and of the American myth overall. And because of that, probably I ended up moving here. And now in this trip, I'm quite actually connecting with that and, and reliving it in a way as if I was one of those people. But Truly, I, I continue to be one of them because it's the same process, really. What we're going to do now is do a little impromptu photo shoot so that we can sort of theme and brand our trip and work on the aesthetic and artistic vision for it, which always was meant to be the Wild West, right? Yes. And this town is just perfect for that. And I got the shirt and just for fun. And now there's some trains. We'll see if we can access them. But if not, there's all this architecture, which is very fittingly. Um, Wild Western and then there's also the art around here which reminds me that it's really the same era as the Wild West here is the Victorian era and you can see it in the styles. We have the XC3 with the 23 F2 and so that's pretty close to the 35 millimeter range which is not one that I shoot with a lot. I actually prefer the 50 range, so this is going to be an interesting challenge for me to learn to compose differently. Well, I like 35 a lot and it's good for getting kind of what your eyes see. Let's um, see your first shot here. Yeah, where? Go up uh, by that green pole. Alright, see ya. <laughs> around town with my bandit Wild West outfit for the photo shoot is quite exciting and entertaining yeah so now we're looking for little corners that look like the old days here which are a lot because this is in the National Historic Registry actually in this downtown in Durango it's pretty cool as a historic district about 
done shooting outside and we're going to go look for a nice saloon. It is about 8.30, so it is around sunset. But yeah, we've kind of had a long day. Doing a lot more than we expected to do today. <laughs> and it happens that our hotel here is probably the best looking saloon. So we're going to begin there and see how it goes. Here's our historic hotel, Straighter. And it has two saloons. So we're going to check them out now. The other one looks a little cooler to me. whiskey down in the saloon in the hotel and now we're in a room quite enjoying ourselves and having a relaxing evening for once we're chilling and i'm gonna write in the room journal so if you stay in room 222 two, two. is it 223 two, 222 two, two, i think 311 let's start that over <laughs> Well, I'm about to write in this room tour journal here. So if you ever come to this hotel and you stay in room 311, then you'll get to read what I'm writing. The so. secret message in the state, stater mm -hmm. hotel in mm -hmm. Durango. Durango, Colorado. Our first town that we've been to in Colorado and it's been very impressive so far. We love it. Now we're thinking of playing a Western movie to get in the mood and tomorrow we'll be on our way into the mountains. That's right. The road we're driving is the Rio Jam and it is known for being the best scenic drive of Southern Colorado. And now we're in a stunning place called Teorit, Colorado. Is it tell you ride or tell you ride? I don't know. I don't know, but it's a really cool town. <laughs> 